Um, so the first thing to do on a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, is we, when we have, whenever we see division, we want to make sure we go ahead and separate division. Separate the numerator and separate the denominator. So I have log base 7 of 49 minus log base 7 of 8x. Now, this is very, very important for us to be able to understand and to see that um, when we have, when we, um, what you guys can see is this logarithm is still separated um, by, you, we can still expand this using multiplication. So I have log base 7 of 49 minus log base 7 of 8 plus log base 7 of x. Because 8x can be separated into two more logarithms. Now, I thought you put, put, put it in the front of the thing. Like no, it wasn't, it's only when it's raised to the power. If that was raised to the x to the 8th power, you put it in front. Now, here comes the mistake, or here's something I really want you guys to pay attention to. Notice, ladies and gentlemen, that if you were to read this, if we read this from left to right, that would say divide these two, right, 49 over 8, and then multiply them by x. Well, if we divide and then multiply by x, we're not going to get this exact same answer. So what we have to do is use parentheses. Okay? Because what the parentheses is telling us to do is we got to make sure we, s we separate this is in the denominator. Then the last thing we can do is look to always look to see, can you evaluate anything? What does log base 7 of 49? Do you remember what a logarithm says? We wrote this down in our notes last time. 7 raised to what power gives you 49? So your final answer is 2 minus log base 7 of 8 plus log base 7 of x. That's your final answer. I wish I had math like last week.